And now we connect with a very, very happy man. You got to be happy, yeah. Jeff Merrick, with the announcements made yesterday. Tell us about your yeah, new gig. You, yeah, you kidding, Jody? I mean, you and I have known each other for a long time time now and yesterday was you know one of the happiest you know broadcast days of my life and by the way to all your viewers uh, Jody Vance perhaps the most generous broadcaster in this country when I was transitioning from radio to television nobody helped me more than your host on breakfast television right now so if you don't like me on the hockey package don't blame me I'm just being me blame Jody because she that. was the one that got me into all of this mess. So yeah, it looks like it's, I mean, this, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is going to be a, a new coat of paint for, for Hockey Night in Canada, a new coat of paint for the, uh, the NHL package, uh, 12 years long, $5 billion, Jody. That's a, that buys a lot of paint. Uh, so it should be pretty exciting, especially with you know our mutual friend, George Strombolopoulos at the helm. George Strombolopoulos, uh, Darren Millard, yourself, and yep. uh, with Don Cherry and Ron McLean, the announcements made yesterday officially yeah. with Scott Moore and company, the head of the NHL and of the president of Rogers Sportsnet. So tell us that moment, Jeff, when Scott made the announcement. Did it all become very real? You know, it, it became real when I was sitting on that yeah. stage yes. yesterday and I looked Better over and there there's, you know, a guy that I've known for 20 years and George, and there's Ron and Don, who we've all grown up watching on Hockey Night in Canada, and there's Darren Millard, who's, you know, been a great mentor to me at Sportsnet, and there's Scott Moore, who originally brought me into Hockey Night in 2007, brought me to Sportsnet three years ago, and, you know, is helping uh, with my career. At that moment, it got, it got real, and it got real comfortable, too, because I was looking over to my right, and there's a guy that I broke in the industry with in 1994, and we've gone, you know, different ways, but we've come back, sort of, full circle so it was a happy and comfortable day for this little hockey champ if you will I love it I'm gonna take you back to that okay. time where you first started uh, working in sports with George Strombolopoulos little-known facts so many people saying George Strombolopoulos isn't a hockey guy you guys at the oh. fan 590 doing overnights Bob Makowitz jr. Yep. yourself that's right and Strombo you guys were allowed to take over the overnight updates on the fan 590 yep. every 20 minutes when nothing happened in sports why was junior yep. yourself that's right and Strombo you guys were allowed to take over the overnight updates on the do you remember? You know what? It was yeah. I remember why it ended. It ended uh, when there, a new program director came in, so it transitioned uh, to Nelson Millman, who, even though I'm going to tell you a horrible story here, is one of my best friends in the industry. And the industry has a weird way of sort of putting you through the uh, uh, the rinse cycle and the spin cycle at the same time. My position there ended um, not with a phone call. I mean, don't forget this is 1995, all pre-email and, and pre-cell phone. It ended. With a memo, George calls me one day uh, late on a Thursday afternoon. He said, "Did you talk to Nelson, who was our program director?" I just mentioned, and I said, "No." I said, "Why would I talk to Nelson today?" He goes, "Because you and Bob got fired." I said, "Me and Bob got fired? What are you talking about?" He goes, "Yeah, no one told you." I said, "No, no one's called us. How do you know we've been fired?" George he says, "There's a note on the fridge that says <laughs> effective immediately. The services of Bob Makowitz and Jeff Merrick are no longer required. Uh, we." Will wish them best in future endeavors. So we've all been sort of dismissed in unique ways, but I was fired by a fridge, Jody. You were fired I don't know by if that's fridge, ever happened to you. And the rumor, fridge. the the underground rumor from, well, okay, Bob Makowitz's father said that you guys were doing <laughs> the 2020 sports updates in other languages. Well, you know, we always thought, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning and you already know what the scores are and chances are three four o'clock in the morning if you're listening for sports scores you might have been overserved. <laughs> so we decided to have a little bit of fun with it you know one week it would be in Italian one week it would be in Ukrainian uh, one week it would be in Polish uh, and then what really got us in a lot of hot water is instead of giving out the scores we just gave numbers uh, we didn't put them in and we didn't frame them by way of games we just said and here are the teams that played Oakland St. Louis Toronto uh, Buffalo and here are the numbers seven two five six so everything was just, it made for a very awkward sports cast, as you can well imagine. We thought it was funny uh, until we got fired. They you know looked what, too favorably upon that sports radio. Here's the, here's the reason why I bring that up, because you guys have all of your sports chops down. And, and as I put out on Twitter yesterday, nicest men in sports. You were giving me the accolades off the top, but really it has been all you guys. George, yourself, Darren, all true hockey fans you are not just the nhl fan you are at yeah. all levels you know this stuff you love this stuff you eat up the stats and what you're going to bring to hockey night in canada and specifically your program on sportsnet 360 when are we going to see yep. you at the desk on there for the first time 
Yeah, it's pretty ambitious. So, uh, well, the first Thursday of the season. So next October, Thursday night hockey on Sportsnet 360. Uh, the following day is a Friday night junior hockey package. So your stars from the Western League, the OHL, and the Q on Friday nights and the MasterCard. Memorial Cup at the end of the year and then a and you know this about doing pregames Jordy from your Leafs TV background two hour juggernaut pregame program before the Saturday and Sunday edition of Hockey Night in Canada. I know eh? better brush up on my chops Jody. I might look to you for uh, for a couple of cheat sheets down That's the road. It's a little bit of a flashback Jeffy you carried me a, a lot bit. back then and you will in the future I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you for doing this this morning make it a great day and uh, best Thanks, of luck Jody. to you and say hi to the boys. Yeah.